Hello everyone. Today's video is about how to clean your CZ P10F and this goes as well for the P10 series. This gun is pretty easy to take apart and if you have no idea you can refer to my previous videos but it's so easy to take apart that I will suggest you take it fully apart to clean your gun. Personally I don't clean my guns after every range trip. It's like uh, changing the oil in your car after 500 miles. No, uh, I do it on my hammer fire which has the power of the hammer behind the firing pin every 15-1700 rounds. On the other hand, the striker fire being more finicky, I will usually do it every 600 rounds. Um, this one is just getting clean for the video but it has about 110 rounds through it. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to clean it. You'll need a few tools, some uh, wine knife, regular punch, another wine knife, and a 332 roll pin punches. The usual uh, hoppies, 1001 use, duct tape, hammer, brushes, brushes. Everybody should have a toothbrush, a very firm toothbrush on their cleaning kit, very, very practical. Uh, oil, um, I mean, you will need all these little things. And very important for the CZ, the small screwdriver, because you are going to need it to push right here to remove the um, magazine release. Also, as I told you, I go a pretty long schedule between the cleaning. I discover a really good product this uh, LSA oil. This is the color of it. This is not only oil, but I discovered by mistake that if you put it on something dirty, not only it will lubricate the part, but it will help dissolve the gunk of the part. And I, I found this accidentally putting some into a really gunky area and uh, a few weeks later, it, the gunk was gone, liquefied. And if you want to keep your gun shooting longer between uh, clean. You can use this LSA to lubricate your gun, but also to get rid of the gun as well. All right, let's take it apart. At that point, you don't really have to remove the extractor here. As long as you clean, you make sure you clean the, the face of the bolt right there. You need your brush and you need some hoppies. And you're gonna spread everything generously everywhere. And then another rag to clean up everything. Again, that gun is not very dirty, so I'm not going to go into much details. You do not need special tools. One little screwdriver will do everything. And so gently, you're gonna follow the rails on each side. Everywhere you have small crevices. the front of the bolt right here. And then every few thousand rounds you want to take a Q-tip and go inside the firing pin chamber here to clean the front face here. It's a bit dirty. You do have powder residue getting into it, but not too, too much. Over time it will. And that should be it. There is not much into the slide. We have to inspect everything. Looks really nice. Again, a small screwdriver to go into small places. 
that helps also to go in between the front of the bolt here and the extractor to make sure it's clean. Don't be afraid, you're not going to scratch that gun that much. This is very, very, very well coated. And if really you want to do a full detail cleaning, you might want to remove that pin here from the top there, push it out to remove the extractor again. Take a reference from my previous videos. The spring does not really get dirty either. It does, but nothing major. If you need to take your brush with the hoppies and clean the springs all along the springs, that would be more of a few thousand clean. Not much to clean on the back plate. And then a quick removal of the firing pin caps there to clean the front. of the firing pin. Uh, people have asked me, do you put oil there? Well, as we can see, when you put the springs, there is no friction. Be a little bit with the spring, but really not much. It is up to you. Uh, if you put oil, you have a chance of gunk getting stuck there. So it's not going to need much lubrication. I mean, you could, but uh, it, it is a personal preference. Either way is fine. Maybe a slight coating. Okay, let's put a slight coating. Still, if you have gun coming in there, oil will be a magnet for it. All right, let's put it back. Now the barrel, you want to put some uppies around here, definitely on the ramp and on the side right there. You will have gunk forming here and there. At that point, you might need a brass brush to remove that gunk if you don't clean your gun too often. But for any other mountains, this little brush is all you need. And then after a few minutes, you go over, clean all the residue of hoppies with the gunk. And you can see that ramp is not polished but it's worked really fine. The inside is not too dirty. Let's see, yes, there we go. But I'm still going to clean it. So what I do, I take a pad, suck it in hoppies, remove the excess, and Go for it, it's going to drape all over the place. That's okay. I do that a few times. That's not going to be wasted. I keep it aside somewhere. And then with the brush, the brush is not always necessary, but it's good to have from the bridge. You are going to brush the barrel. Try not to clean your barrels from the tip here. If you scratch the outer part, you may affect the bullet trajectory. All right, now let's clean that barrel spotless. Now, when I'm all done, I will not put oil inside the barrel. I don't see the point. 
it won't help the bullet to go faster, it won't help the barrel to, to stay rust-free unless you live by the ocean, unless your gun is going to be sitting for a long time in your safe because you do have a safe, right? Um, I don't... No, I never put oil inside my barrel and it stays rust-free and clean. I think this is uh, all done. I think it's beautiful. And that's it for the bar. Now it's time to remove the slide release latch. You put pressure here, push it down. Watch out, there is a spring in the center. Thousand and one use of duct tape. And those two last and then the magazine release. I need the pliers and I need a small screwdriver. I managed to learn to do it on this side like this. I grab the pin, I push the spring. Okay, and that's it. This is totally empty. So not too difficult. Oh, usually I use that wet OPs right to clean up everything in there. Your hands and your fingers are better usually than any tools, but if you need to, some hemostat. And that will go into every little niches, corner, areas of the gun. See, if you don't remove all this, you cannot get underneath to clean your gun. If your gun is not very dirty, it is okay, but if it gets dirty over time, you need to access this area there. Then after you leave it soak for a few minutes, which I haven't, what well, didn't, because my gun is not that dirty. I will go into every little corner with that rag. To remove as much hoppies as necessary with the gunk. Residue of powder and everything. And if you leave hoppies there, then it will evaporate over time. Anyhow, this is just a piece of plastic. Okay, good enough. From block, again my little wet rag full of hoppies. I go everywhere in between. What I do sometimes too, in a small cup, I put some uh, hoppies and I dunk this part. There is no plastic in it, so I dunk it and let the solvent do its magic.
And just by looking at it, you can tell if a part is clean or not. You can see the gunk sitting there. The difference between the, uh, the shiny area of some parts and the more matte because there is gunk. You can remove that little spring in there if you want to. I usually do the magazine release every two or three cleans. One because this is overall a pain and a butt to to undo, but it doesn't get it gets dirty in there, but not enough to stop the magazine release from working. And that is what you want. You want a smooth working condition. If you cannot obtain this, then the gun needs to be clean. And I never had any problems running or working the magazine release. You have more problems by gunk being sitting, being forming on the handle here and slowing down your magazine from ejecting, which is still very rare. The entire Mechanism is really what you want to work on and to clean. Again, super easy to take apart. All done. And this one, and that's it really. Uh, I'm not going to clean too, too much of this. Again, it is already clean. 200 rounds is not much. Just going over every the parts here, but you get the idea. And the more you clean again, the more familiar you become with it. And maybe the first time you take it apart is can be problematic, but as you do it, you will think it's like uh, changing the time on your on your watch. Very simple, get used to it. And we are done cleaning the gun. Now, the where and what to oil or grease is what you have been waiting for. Talking about oil or grease, it's whatever you want. Some people are more into grease, some other into oil. They both work the same. We are just talking about metal to metal contact parts uh, that work in a gun and oil will do fine everywhere. Sometimes you might want to use some grease, but this is still very rare. <coughs> like this part here. This is probably the only part I like to grease a little bit for a few reasons. is because <coughs> it's enclosed. So the grease will stay enclosed with it. And that part moves like this a little bit and then here you will have part of the trigger bar contact and that also is a good place for grease but if you put oil it is fine as well okay let's rebuild everything <coughs> you know <coughs> what goes where because you have been watching my previous channel I'm using some of this uh, promo stuff I got with, I forgot what part, I think it was sites. I'm not sure what I get it with, but usually I don't have too much grease with me. And I'm going to use those uh, Lucas oil and grease. So a little bit there. And definitely on the part going in that chamber here with the spring. To be on the spring, hurt. There we go. I will then remove the excess when I'm all done.
And the only thing on this gun that require oil at, that, at this point is this bar inside, remember, I just put it in, and down here, the contact. The rest do not touch. Um, you would, I don't have mine, but you would also put some oil on this safety mechanism that remove the pin block. If you want to add a few drops of oil on the trigger mechanism, I don't know if it would go in. Now we need to rebuild the front block. With that little notch in front of you. And you see there is some movement here. So that's where I will put some oil. Everywhere there is friction. If it's quite a bit of friction, I put oil. It goes a lot smoother, you can already feel it. And that part is ready to drop in. The first part you will put in back into your plastic handle is the magazine release. You probably need a little bit of oil on the pin that goes inside the magazine release. Not much. But you want to put the spring first, then that pin. Let's push it in. There. Inside the, oh, and it goes that way. Inside the gun, then that pin with the larger opening down, and you're going to push on that pin while pushing on the spring. Next will be the trigger assembly and you don't need any oil or grease anywhere else. And this little part needs to be pushed in, there you go. Now we need to put those pins back, slightly in, in recess. The other one, and you can see they are slightly in recess on both sides. Next is the front block with the slide stop, and we're going to put that pin first. And I will show you what in a And this pin is first because here you want to align everything into position. So you need to put a punch and you are going to do it from that side. You put the punch from that side to put the pin on the other side. You see I cannot barely find the hole with a smaller punch compared to the pin. So you want to go fish for the hole. And once this is in position, you are going to insert the pin and hammer it down. There you go. You see it was not that much more difficult to remove everything. Yes, it took maybe an extra 5-10 minutes, but you cleaned the entire gun. From here, this gun has about 600 rounds from now, and you can already see some 
smoothing out on the rail and that is where you should put oil so the rails here there there are not too many places you can see here as well so anyway that's part of the rail so all this gets oil but we are done putting everything back onto the slide uh, this does not require any oil there we go the barrel the barrel also will require a little bit of oil I don't know if you can see it yet but there is a starting wear right there so that will require a little bit of oil here. Usually the front of the barrel, which is really nice right now, oh, right there. Not much here, but there is contact, I know. Uh, you can see right there a little bit of wear. So all this is going to be uh, oil a little bit. No need to oil the spring or the rod. And I forgot to put the firing pin. I usually tell you I don't put too much oil in it, so it can go right in. Yeah, I usually put it before I put in the spring, but it is really simple to do, so I'll do it now. Okay, oil or grease, it's your, your choice, but I prefer oil for this. Right there on the side. Where you see some wear mark. And then always on the rail inside. There. And there. And that's all you need. And you remove any excess of oil you see around. Everything is working great. So that's it. Until next time. See you guys.